Hi, I'm Sam Thurgood and welcome to 5-Minute Parsha. I was walking down the road speaking to somebody on my phone the other day and they asked me out of the blue on a totally unrelated concept, are you on a treadmill? And I was surprised for a second and I thought about it and I said to them, well, it depends how you look at it. I mean, I, I don't think so, whilst I do feel sometimes that I'm working very hard to not get much done, most of the time I feel that I'm really seeing fruits of my actions and that I'm actually accomplishing something. And they said to me, no, I can hear that you're a bit on, out of breath. Are you walking on a treadmill? And then I understood that they were not speaking metaphorically. But the question was an interesting one to me because indeed often I think we do feel that we're on a treadmill, that we are working very hard and not getting anywhere. And in fact, one of the definitions of work that we put for ourselves is not based on what is achieved or what is accomplished, but on what is invested. Have you put a lot of time into this? Are you working very hard in this? If you are working very hard, yeah, that means that you're, you're somehow achieving. That's the measure of it. Have you been working hard on your homework? Yes, I've spent an hour. Do you understand the material better than you did before? No. Then have you really worked? Right. Uh, the, uh, there, was, there was somebody who wrote in the Victorian England about these uh, carriage drivers that spend the day, uh, you know, riding back and forth between all the different places, whether it's delivering post or whatever it would be, working incredibly hard. And you have the uh, English country gentlemen who on the weekend do the exact same route with the exact same kind of carriage, and they do it as a relaxing hobby. So what makes the one work and the other one not work? So it seems to be, our normal response is, it seems to be a function of enjoyment, it seems to be a function of attitude. Does it feel like work? Am I putting a lot of effort into it? But Rabbi Adin Stanzas points out that that's a very animalistic definition of work. That's not really a human definition of work. Animals are expending effort or not expending effort. They are in motion or they are at rest. Whereas human beings should really assess and evaluate their work experience much more by the outcomes. I have a friend who was telling me about a multi-million property deal, a multi-million rand property deal that he put together in a single afternoon. He drew up the figures, he met with the, with the person, they discussed it, or a couple of phone calls through to the bank. The whole thing was sorted out. Now those deals can sometimes take six months to come to, and this case was done in an afternoon. Does that mean that this person did less work, that he achieved less than somebody who would have done the same thing over, over a month? Or does it mean that simply his work was much more compact? What's all of this got to do with Vayakel, the parasha? Vayakel gives us the key concept in Shabbat, linking Shabbat together with the building of the Mishkan. And the Torah tells us, build the Mishkan, however, don't build the Mishkan on Shabbat. And our sages understand that what Hashem is communicating to us is that all of the Malachot, all of the works in doing the Mishkan, are in fact the definition of the works that we don't do on Shabbat. And what kind of works are those? The fundamental attitude, it's some idea that I'm sure many of you have heard before, but I think the way that Rabbi Steinsatz puts it across with these two models of understanding work is very helpful and very profound. Shabbat is not about the animalistic definition of work, effort, labor, and toil. Shabbat is about the human definition of work, outcome and output. And that is why on Shabbat a person can spend the entire day picking up heavy couches and moving them around within his home and not have violated Shabbat because he has achieved nothing. There's been a great deal of work on the treadmill and nothing that's come out of it. And when it comes to Shabbat, through simply writing a couple of letters on a piece of paper that somehow is violated Shabbat because there is so much that can be achieved in just a few words. And so Shabbat is about the very human attitude of saying, six days a week I am producing an outcome. On the seventh day I'm not producing an outcome. But the seventh day of Shabbat is not just about not producing an outcome, but it's about engaging in restorative practices. It's not about idleness, it's not about wasting my time, it's about looking inward. It's about getting off the treadmill, and in fact getting off the road of the walking somewhere taking a second to look inward to restore. And then from Saturday night, we can hit the ground running once more. Shabbat shalom.